Now for the main event, the birthday cake. Not for the dogs, for the people. I need two and a quarter sticks of butter. I need three cups of sugar. And while they're creaming, I'm gonna get the rest of the ingredients together. Okay, the butter and sugar are really well creamed. They're light and fluffy. It gets really a light yellow color. I'm just gonna scrape down the bowl to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. Okay. And then with the mixer on low, I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time. Just make sure they get really well incorporated. It's gonna make a huge cake. But everybody's gonna get some to take home. Next, the zest of one lemon. It's a white cake, but this little bit of lemon really gives it lots of flavor. One and a half teaspoons of good vanilla. And one cup of sour cream. This is what keeps it really moist. It's an eight ounce container. Mm, this already smells good. Okay, now for the dry ingredients. First thing you need is three cups of flour. Any all-purpose flour, I use unbleached flour, whatever you have. Cornstarch, a third of a cup. This basically approximates cake flour, makes it nice and light. A teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt. Just sift that all together. Okay, on very low speed, I'm just gonna add the dry ingredients to the wet ones and mix it just until it's blended. So this is a half sheet pan, it's 12 by 18 and about one and a quarter inches deep. So you can get them in any cookware stores. Just pour the batter in. And you won't believe the decorations I found for them. Nice and smooth. Into the oven, 25 to 30 minutes, 350 degrees, and it's gonna be a knockout cake. So I'm gonna do a chocolate icing for my white cake. First thing I need is 24 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mmm, already smells good. One and a half cups of heavy cream. And just let the chocolate melt over Double boiler, simmering water. But I don't want it to get too hot, because otherwise the chocolate will separate. Not pretty. I use chocolate chips, but if you want to use bars of chocolate, that's fine too. Just me sweet chocolate. Actually, the more you stir it, the shinier it gets. Makes a really nice frosting. Okay, so off the heat, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of corn syrup. It actually keeps the frosting spreadable. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm actually gonna take it off the double boiler so it cools down pretty fast. Cause I'm gonna have to let it cool a little bit before I add the butter to make the buttercream. Ooh, that's a lot of chocolate, but it's a lot of cake too. Half a stick of room temperature butter. I'm just gonna beat this together until it's light and fluffy and it's nice buttercream. Okay, that should do it. Nice and thick. Ah, it's gorgeous. Okay, now I'm just gonna spread it on the cake. Okay, just spread it out evenly. Perfect. I always have to make sure the icing's good. I will. My taste is correct? <laughs> really? Oh, Ina. <laughs> this is really delicious.